Hey, yo guys, what is going on? Welcome to another video. This is the preview of England versus Brazil. Now, I was out late the day before because yesterday I had things on. I also played some PlayStation with you guys, which was absolutely incredible. So, yeah, thank you guys for coming over on the PlayStation and we had a bit of fun playing some pro clubs. Um, yeah, I mean, I enjoy playing FIFA with all you guys. It's fantastic. If you hear some jingles, it's because of my app, man. I can't apologise. I've got my Forever England shirt on. Just because it's an England preview, do you know what I mean? England v Brazil is obviously tomorrow night. Quick thing, um, I will be live streaming tomorrow night. Now, I ain't live streamed in a few weeks purely because there's been no real football that I can live stream on. Obviously, we played the other night, obviously. But I couldn't live stream because I had something on. But, no excuses, man. Tomorrow night, um, we will be, well, I will be live streaming in this exact position, uh, watching England versus Brazil. So, if you want to come over to the channel, and watch me try and commentate best I can, best I can, and chat to you guys for any questions or general chit chat with you guys in the live in the live stream. Feel free to come over to the channel. I'll be I'll be, I'll be on the stream about half seven, around half. Seven. I don't know what time the kickoff is. If it's eight o'clock kickoff, quarter to eight, seven forty-five, half seven. Give myself fifteen minutes. So I can prep myself up and be ready to come on the camera. But uh, in front of me now, I've got the I've got some stats and some figures of the Brazil team. Obviously, I don't know anything about Brazil. I ain't one of the people that knows every single thing about every single club. I have to do my research as well, so we'll talk um, about Brazil. Now, their manager's got a weird name. <laughs> he, he, he's referred to a name as T-I-T-E. So I don't know if that's like Tit or Tighty. I don't know what I don't know what it is, but that's his, that's the manager's name. The ground at these stadiums all have weird names, man. Is the Maracan Stadium. Now they talk Portuguese, so it's different probably a different language. I can't speak I can speak a little bit of Spanish. I don't want to embarrass myself on the camera, but I don't know Portuguese, so I can't I can't say that. Look, yeah, yeah, I can't speak that. I can't speak that. But Brazil's team was founded in 1914, so it's been going a long, long time as the Brazil national team, uh, and they're ranked second in the world in FIFA ranking as well. Uh, they were ranked, well, well, I should say they've been ranked number one in the world on 39 occasions. Uh, I don't know when England have been ranked number one in the world, to be honest. Uh, I don't know, I think we're in the top ten. So... Hard game this one, hard game this one, but I'm excited because I'm looking forward to this game, England Brazil. Um, I don't know why I get so excited for this game. I just really enjoy what enjoy playing Brazil. Don't ask me why, I don't know, but I think it's because there's probably so many, so many like class players on the show for Brazil. Do you know what I mean? Over the years, you know, we've 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 got Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, Rivaldo, Cafu, uh, Roberto Carlos. There's been so many great players that have played for Brazil. And that's probably why I get so excited to play them because they have got fantastic players in their team. Um, and the lowest these have ever been. Now, I couldn't believe it when I checked this out. Back in November of 2001, Brazil were ranked um, 18th in the world. They then went on to the 2002 World Cup and won it. So it proved everybody what kind of right they should have been with them going on to win the World Cup. Uh, and they've actually won the World Cup five times in 1958, 1962, 1970, 1994, the birth of AJT, and uh, 2002. So these... Uh, these enjoy winning the World Cup, put it that way. I know we've won it once, 1966. Great day. Obviously, I wasn't alive, but it was still a great day even though I wasn't here. But uh, yeah, man, like I said, we've won it once. They've won it, uh, won it, won it a fair few times. And uh, yeah, man. Um, I'm, I mean, I am looking forward to this game. Obviously, he's a friendly. If this is a qualifier, I'd be absolutely bricking it, let's be honest. But with it only, be, only being a friendly, I feel like it'll just be an alright game. I know we haven't got really much of a team. And when you see my 11, you'll know how much of a team we've got because I try to put the best 11 I could play with, really. You know, what, what I think Gareth Southgate might put out. And we'll get into that a little bit, long, bit, a little bit later on. But, you know, I've got so many things written down in front right now. It's it's unbelievable, man. So, the top the top all-time all top goal scorer of Brazil, you probably already know it is. It's the man that's on FIFA, like a 95-rated player. If in my opinion, it should be 105. This guy is unbelievable, man. It's Pele. Pele is a top goal scorer for Brazil. Not that I had to tell you. You probably already knew. Uh, he's got he scored 77 goals for um, Brazil. Fantastic record, man. Fantastic record. Pele was just... I mean, I never really got, I never got to see him play personally, but of what I've heard and what I've seen on videos and whatnot, he looked a different grave. Him, like, him, I, think him, I think you put Pele and Sambalonga together. I mean, you could see how Sambalonga is Pele's dad. I mean, obviously, Sambalonga is Pele's son. In many respects, if you're a Buddha fan, if not, you're gonna think I've just said a lot of rubbish there. But I'm being honest with you. Until you watch a guy play, you know what I mean. You can't judge, man. You can't judge. Um, and the most caps for Brazil was one of my favourite players ever in the world. Uh, was Cafu. I loved watching him, man. Growing up, I loved watching Cafu play. And they had 142 caps for Brazil and became their most capped player ever to this date. Um, 
And I'm going to say I've written it down. Just, well, obviously, I'm not going to forget it. I'll never forget about it. Uh, the game I remember is uh, England v Brazil. Is the uh, 2002 World Cup when the Beatles 2-1. Ronaldinho hit that free kick and went over the top of David Seaman. And uh, do you know what? Funny story. I've sat in school. And uh, as you can imagine, I have the passion I have inside my reviews. So you can imagine what kind of passion I had in school. I have a face painted England colours. I think it was like half eight in the morning. And the second, the second half was put on in the uh, year six classroom. And uh, I remember watching that free kick going, and it's the truth be told, I was devastated. I'm not going to lie. I remember Michael Owen scoring. I remember Brazil getting the goal back. And then obviously when we when he scored that free kick, Ronaldinho, I remember how much hatred, how, how much hatred I had for Ronaldinho for like maybe it's five seconds, and then I loved him again. But yeah, uh, I remember that that hurt. That that was that was a sore. I was a sore uh, free kick to take. I mean, it wasn't for Ronaldinho, it was sore for us to take, a bit of pill to swallow, but I remember it as well, because we played really good that game, I remember that really well, we played really well, but Brazil, man, like I said they were ranked 18th in the world, they went and won the World Cup, so it proves you what kind of level they were at, but we, we had a good team back then in England, I thought we had a pretty good team back in the day, and uh, like I say, I said it before, when England played, everybody wanted to be in the pubs around people's houses, man, when England played back in the day, it was, it was like almost like, it was almost like religious to watch them, that's how it felt, Um, but yeah, I remember that free kick, and I still watch it back now, and I always think to myself, could David Seaman have done better? <laughs> now, I know I'm no one to judge. I'm no one to judge that free kick and say, could he have done better? But seriously, as a fan of England, could he have done better there? Could he have saved it? Do you know what I mean? Who will know? We, we, we will never know. Obviously, don't, obviously I'm never going to ask David Seaman that, in case he turns around and right up to me, but I don't know, man. Could he have done better? Probably not, to be fair. He went straight on top of his head, but I always, feel, I always think to myself, maybe he could have just... Just tipped it. I don't know. I'm the one to judge. I'm the one to judge. If there's a palms I'm flying towards me, you can guarantee I push it over the bar or I go straight in my mouth, but you can't really catch a football in your mouth, can you? So, I don't know. Unlucky David. <laughs> if we, um, let's say, um, before we get into the head to head stats, obviously Brazil did play the other night when England played. They beat Japan away, away Japan. They beat them 3 1. So, they're coming to this one scoring three goals away. And uh, I said they're probably going to want to score some past England, but we've got to be tight. I thought against Germany, England were very, very tight. Obviously, I've seen the highlights, and uh, I thought we were very, very tight. We had a few chances. Vardy had a chance. Sane had a few chances. They looked good. But I thought we dealt with them all right, but Germany are a different team to Brazil. Brazil are a different team to Germany, do you know what I mean? So, we've got to be on it tomorrow. Even though it's a friendly, we don't want to lose, let's be honest. So, if you look at the head-to-head -head stats now, I'm pretty impressed with these head-to-head -head stats, if I'm quite honest with you. Uh, especially regarding England's form against Brazil in the last two times we played them. So, um, the last time we did play them was June the 2nd, 2013, and uh, we, we drew 2 2 with them. And I was like, well, that's alright, that's not bad. Away from home, away from Wembley, all the way over to uh, Brazil, 2 2, but not too bad. And uh, the last time England played them at Wembley was the 6th of February in the same year, 2013, and we beat them 2 1. So I'm thinking to myself, do you know what? What's all this fuss about? We should be able to beat these tomorrow. Yeah, don't hold me to that. Don't come back and bite me, please. But looking at the record, I mean, I feel pretty confident, if I'm honest with you. Um, and England v Brazil. So back in 2007, when, you know, obviously that's when, when, that's when Wembley opened, 2007, the new Wembley. Brazil played there. And who scored it? ex man scored for Brazil that day. Alfonso Alves popped up and got the goal. I remember John Terry scored for uh, England to make it one all, And uh, that's the game I remember as well. I remember watching it on TV. My mates actually went, a few of my mates went to that game. Said it, you know what I mean? We couldn't believe that Alves actually scored for uh, Brazil. And uh, like I say, he came to board, didn't he? But, ah, man, I, w I won't get onto that subject. <laughs> um, but forget to my 11 quickly. <laughs> I won't get onto the whole Alfonso Alves topic now. I won't get onto it because that player, I didn't I didn't like him very much. But uh, even though he scored a couple of goals, I'm not going to get into it. I promise you, I'm not going to get into it. Basically, let's have a look at me 11. So. I've kind of predicted the kind of lineup that he may go for, but obviously I can't put Maguire in, I can't put Stones in. I don't like him and I can't put Keane in because he plays at Burnley. So I've got to put in. So not, no offense to Burnley fans out there, just put a Burnley. For some reason, it's got this rivalry around it. Michael Keane used to play for you, so I can't really put him in the England team. So in goal, I've gone for Joe Hart. Uh, since Pickford played the other night, I'm guessing that Southgate probably swap it around and put Joe Hart in since Pickford played against Germany. In back four is Kyle Walker at right back. Gary Cahill and uh, Phil Jones. My left back being Danny Rose. My CDM, and I'm guessing he'll be captain again, Eric Dyer. A man that I, I rate highly, Eric Dyer. I love watching Eric Dyer play. I rate him, I rate him immensely. Uh, and then my two wingers on the left hand side, Ashley Young. The right hand side, Jesse Lingard. And the centre back midfielder, who I thought had a fantastic game watching the highlights of the night, Loftus Cheek. 
It's a great name. It actually, it's a great name. I love that name, Loftus Cheek. But yeah, he, he's going to be my cam. And my two strikers, Jim Vardy and Marcus Rashford, they're going for the pace up front. I know Tani Abraham played all right the other night, but I just think it's Brazil, man. We're going to have a bit, a bit of Premier League class in there, I think. Um, you know, some clinical goal scorers. So Vardy and Rashford go up front. That's my best 11 I can come up with, honestly. You don't believe me how bad this England... Well, obviously how bad it is, because obviously I know a lot of players pulled out. And go to the FA website and go on men's senior team. You will see the players that we have. We don't have a big selection. Gareth Southgate doesn't have a lot of players to play with. So, I've gone for the 11 that I think will work. And, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can get a win. That's the most important thing. I know it's a friendly, but it's always nice to win. So, that's what I'm hoping for. But, I will be on stream tomorrow about half seven, quarter to eight time. So, be here tomorrow night because we will be live streaming. And, uh, yeah, I'll be on the PlayStation later on tonight. If you guys want to pop over and play some pro clubs. Let's try and get to Division 1. You guys take care and uh, I hope you enjoyed the preview. This in the Borough Leeds preview will be out either tomorrow or Thursday. That's what I'm buzzing for, let's be honest, Borough Leeds. But that's right now, we have to focus on Brazil. You guys take care and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow night, I have to think that tomorrow night for the, pre for the live stream. You guys take care and I'll see you in a bit. Up the England! <laughs>